Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Dan Sabotin from First Strike Athletics. Today I'm going to show you a very simple, very effective combination. It's going to help you confuse your opponent so you can close a distance and set up a really painful liver kick. <laughs> so the same idea works here. You'll see a lot of people are starting to drop their hands or start to back away because they don't know what's coming, right? So if I see Casey lifting up that left leg and I start to step back, he can do the same thing on the next leg. So he's going to keep faking. He's going to fake that one too. And now he's still hot, okay? And this is also really confusing for me because I know that's his right side. I should be circling one way, but now he starts to switch. Now I'm like, which way should I be going? So people get a little bit confused. They have a hard time. They usually start to end up going straight back. Okay, I'm going to go in here, he's gonna start moving back. I'm gonna be going here. And I want you guys just for right now to get your right foot to the outside here. You're not gonna put it down in front. So he throws that cross, I'm right in front of it. So all we do is walk our point down a little bit, okay? Over here, he's gonna start moving back. One, two, and I'm gonna reach out my right hand, my jab, this is my dominant hand, to measure our distance. If I can touch his gloves, I can throw my kick, which we'll do in a minute. Okay? But right now, I just want to make sure you guys are in the right stance, like the right position, so you're not walking into a power shot. So fake, fake, boom. Look down, my foot's not inside. Lined up's okay, outside's better. Not too far outside either, okay? This is good, right here. Now, if I can touch his glove, it's all good. Does that make sense for you guys? Okay? Again, just here. Boom, boom. Here. Okay? This will measure my distance and create a distraction. So do that first lava kick in a minute. Okay? Time. Good. So now we'll do the same thing and we'll add the kick. I'll give you guys a couple options if uh I'm gonna get this. So we go three times, two times light, one time hard. Okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna walk Casey down, boom. He's just gonna stay like that. He's just gonna go statue mode, and I'm just gonna practice getting my shin to his liver. Just like that, nice and light. Okay? We were talking about this the other day. You don't have to go super hard with a liver kick for it to hurt, but you need to know where it is. Okay? If I throw a super hard kick and I just kick him in the hip, well, I kind of wasted it. Right? If I throw a super hard kick and I catch his elbow, well, then I definitely wasted my effort. Right? So we're just going to work on that accuracy and find that spot. On the third one, you can go a little harder and your partner can block it. Okay? So fake, fake, boom, yes. that's one. Yes. Two. All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit harder in case you can block. But I'm not gonna go like blast him, right? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then it's just turn out that. Okay? So light, light, hard. When it's Casey's turn to throw that kick to me, of the hard one, hands here, elbow tight, other hands coming over to make a wall go like this. So I'm gonna catch it across multiple surfaces, not just my, my wrist or something like that. That makes sense for one? Two light, one hard. Okay? All right, here's a few bonus variations of this. There was a kid's class going on after and it got super noisy, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover. So here's the first one. Same thing you already saw. I'm gonna do the same thing here now, but I'm gonna go to a leg kick first. Knock her off balance and then go to the liver. Same thing here, but now I'm gonna go to the knee to the body. And this one here, I'm gonna get a little bit closer and throw a right hook instead and go knee to the body. So no leg kick in that one. And here's an example of a little mistake I'm making. Uh, as I fake my first left one, but my right leg, there's not much of a fake there. I'm not really selling it. I should lift up that knee a little bit higher and really try and convince her that a kick's coming her way. Otherwise, they, they don't bite on it. So sell the fake a little bit more. You'll have more success with it. 